dear students, uh, in this particular video, I explained some of the multiple choice questions on pseudocode. So, what I have previously asked in uh, Capgemini's interview. So, we will see the first problem. So, here, so always better you develop a habit of uh, uh, writing boxes, okay, so for variables, then you trace like a program itself. So then you will properly get the output. See here, integer i, don't confuse it as 1, okay. So the first problem, integer i. So memory will be allocated to i. So memory will be allocated to i. And uh, set i equal to 3, means initialize i. So with the number 3. Do. So it is something like do i loop. So print i plus 3. Here most of the students, they modify i itself. So here try to understand it is print actually we are displaying so print i plus 3 i is 3 plus 3 so that is 6 so 6 we are, we are printing and then i equal to i minus 1 so 3 will become 2 3 will become 2 why i not equals to 0 why i not equals to 0 so i is 2 2 is not equal to 0 so again it will go to this loop so again it will come back to this particular thing so do again print i plus 3 so i is 2 so 2 plus 3 is 5 so 5 will be printed and again i equal to i minus 1 so 2 minus 1 i will become 1 so y i not equals to not equals 0 so i is 1 so 1 is not equal to 0 so again it will go to loop again print i plus 3 that is i is 1 1 plus 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, so 6, 5, 4, i equal to i minus 1, so 1 will become 0, so while i not equal to 0, but i is 0, so it will come out of the loop, so the answer is 6, 5, 4, means here answer is D, okay, here the answer is D. Now, we go to second problem, integer A, so memory will be allocated to A, and uh, string str1, so str1, and str1 we are initializing with a particular string constant, because group of characters enclosed within double quotes is called string constant, this is a string constant. So group of characters enclosed within double quotes is called string constant, single character enclosed within single quotes is called character constant. So here g O, O, S, E, and the last will be the null character. Okay, so now A equal to string length of str1. So string length of str1. So string length, so find out the length here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the string length is 5. So the 5 will go and sit in A. So 5 will go and sit in A. Now print A exclude most of the students they take here C because they got something of 5. They, they, they get confused here. Length also we got 5. So the answer is 5. No, here A exclusive R. This is caret symbol. No, this is called exclusive R. Exclusive R means what? If C, if it is bitwise operation, exclusive R is a bitwise operation. So what we need to do here is. So, if two bits we need to take, if for the bit 1 is 1 and the second bit is 0, then the answer is 1. So, here 0, 1, the answer is 1. If both the bits are same, 1 and 1, the answer is 0. If both the bits are same, 0 and 0, the answer is 0. If both the bits are different, then the answer will be 1. So, we need to do the answer, whatever we have got, we need to do exclusive or with 1. So, we take 4 bits, for example, that is 8421 logic. So, that is 8421 logic. So, in the 8421 logic, 5 means how to represent 5. So, binary 0, 1, 0, 1, because 4 plus 1 is 5. So, 5 we represent like 0, 1, 0, 1. And 1 how to represent? 1 we represent like 0, 0, 0, 1. Now we do exclusive of these two bits. 1 1 is 0, 0 0 is 0, 1 0 is 1, again 0 0 is 0. 
So, 1, 0, do you mean this is 4 actually? This answer is 4. So, here answer B. So, B is the correct option. Okay. So, B is the correct option. Now, we will go to next program. So, that is integer A, B and C. So, memory will be allocated to A. Memory will be allocated to B. And memory will be allocated to C. And what is the value of A? A is 8. And B is 51. And C is 2. Now, here, A exclusive or of C. You need to do first this. So, A exclusive or of C means, so again, right here, the 8, 4, 2, 1 logic. So, 8, 4, 2, 1. So, how to represent 8 in binary? So, 8 in binary, 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0. And C means 2. So, 2, how to write in binary? So, 0, 0, 1, 0. So, you need to do exclusive all of these two things. So, 0, 0 means 0. 0, 1 means 1. And 0, 0 means 0 again. And 1, 0 means 1. So, that is 8 plus 2 is 10. So, 10 is the answer. So, what we get out of A exclusive of C is 10. So, here I write 10. 10 exclusive of A we need to do. So, what is, uh, this is again how 10 we have. Exclusive of A, what is there in A? So, 8. So, what is 8 means? 1, 0, 0, 0. So, now if you do 0, here it is 1. Here 0, here 0. So what you get actually here? 2. 2 is the answer. So ultimately, ultimately we get C equal to 2. So anyhow it is 2 only. Now B equal to B modulus 4. So B modulus 4. What is B? 51. Modulus operator gives the reminder. Okay. So 4. So 4 tens are 40. 4 11s are, 4 12s are. So, 4 12s are how much? So, it is 48. Uh, so, 48. So, the reminder is 3. So, the 3 will be stored in B. So, 3 will be stored in B. So, 13 is the answer. So, option A. Option A. So, because print A plus B plus C. So, 8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 2 is 13, 13 is the option. So, we will go to next problem, fourth problem. Uh, this is the binary search problem. You should know the logic of binary search actually. So, the question is very simple. They have given an array. So, you let us consider an array here. So, A, the array name is A and uh, here, the first element is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 11, and 12. This is the first position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, and a key which is equal to 10. So, you need to search for the key element 10. So, whether the element 10 is present in this array or not. So, how many comparisons would be done to find the key element in the array using the binary search? Here, most of the students like, uh, uh, like if they just uh, consider every comparison. No, you have to consider only basic operation. What is the meaning of basic operation? I explained to you here. See, first you calculate the position of the middle element. How to calculate the position of the middle element? First consider this as low. So this as low. So the position of the 0th element. So and this is the high. Now you calculate the position of the middle element. So the logic is very simple. Med equal to low plus high divided by 2. So, what is low actually? We know 0 plus high is 6. So, 0 plus 6 divided by 2. That is 6 divided by 2. So, 2, 3 is up. So, 3. So, this is the middle. 
so we got this as a middle position now compare the key element with the uh, middle element so that is if if key equal to equal to a of mid if key equal to equal to a of mid this we consider as a basic operation now we are doing it for the first time here so one first time we are doing it okay key equal to equal to a of mid key is 10 here 10 equal to equal to a of mid means 5 so no it is not so for binary search all of you keep in your mind the array element should be in ascending order if array elements are not in ascending order, binary search fails actually. Binary search will not work. If array elements are not in ascending order, binary search algorithm will fail. So what you need to do, first you compare the key element with the middle element. So that is the basic operation. This is considered as a basic operation. So only you have to, you have to consider this. Okay. So, but don't compare. Now, now again, if, if it is not matching, then check whether the key element is greater than the element in the middle position or it is less than the element in the middle position. In this particular case, key element is greater than the element in the middle position. So, the second comparison, but this you don't count it as a uh, here. Okay, so don't count it as how many comparisons. Okay, because uh, we consider only the basic operation. Okay. Now, if key greater than a of mid, if key greater than a of mid, now a of mid is 5, key is 10. So, it is common sense, if, if at all 10 is present in this array, it should be in the upper part of this array. No? I mark this array separately here. So, it is between these three elements. So if key greater than a of mid, yes, in our case it is true. Key is 10, 10 is greater than a of mid, that is 5. So what we need to do? So we need to we need to take this array out actually. So for example, so I write here separately because so that you should not be in confusion. 6, 11, 12. The position is 4, 5 and 6. Already the pointer high is pointing to last element. But what the thing is we want this to be 4 to be initial element. How to how to move the pointer to here to, to programmatically? Already we know mid. So we can do like low equal to mid plus 1. So low equal to mid plus 1. Mid was previously 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So that will become low. That will become low. Now again calculate the position of the middle element. So low plus high divided by 2. So that is mid equal to 4 plus 6 divided by 2. That is 10 divided by 2, 5. So this is the position of the middle element. Now compare the key element with the middle element. If key equal to equal to a of mid. Now we are comparing it for the second time. So, so you have to consider because this is a basic operation. So key equal to equal to a of mid. What is the value of key? So 10. 10 equal to equal to a of mid means a of so 5 that is 11. So 10 equal to equal to 11 condition is false. Now check it out, now check it out whether the key element is greater than the element in the middle position or not. Now 10 greater than a of mid, so it will fail. It means what? So key element is less than the middle element. So if at all the key element present in the array, it should be only in this part of the array, lower part of the array. So what is there here? So only one element. So I go to else part, I go to else part and I take only this element out. So that is 6. And what is the position already we have to the 6? We have low already. Low is already pointing. And the position is 4. And we want high actually. So since there is only one element, this itself is low, this itself is high and this itself is um, 
mid but how to calculate programmatically now we want high high equal to we were knowing mid actually so mid was actually 5 so mid minus 1 so high equal to mid minus 1 so mid minus 1 means 5 minus 1 means 4 this itself is high now calculate middle position so it is low plus high divided by 2 that is 4 plus 4 divided by 2 so that is 8 divided by 2 it is 4 so this itself is <coughs> middle also now compare the key element with the middle element if key equal to equal to we have mid we are performing for the third time the basic operation we are performing is for the third time so uh, ultimately we have not got the key element in the array and we completed the uh, entire search also so totally the answer is D so three comparisons required three comparisons required so uh, either you can remember like this or you have to trace okay so in this particular manner now the fifth problem so i j k so set the variables i and the set the variable j and set the variable k uh, set k equal to 8 so 8 will go to k uh, for each i from 1 to 1 don't get confused here 1 to 1 means 1 greater than or equal to 1 so r 1 less than or equal to 1 okay uh, so better if you take like this 1 less than or equal to 1 not greater than or equal to 1 so you have to consider 1 also okay so for each i from 1 to 1 so i is 1 now and for each j from the value of i that is 1 to 1 print k plus 1 so that is 8 plus 1 9 so you print it print it so end 4 because again if you increment i again if you increment i I get j is also 1 so again if you increment i i will become 2 2 is less than or equal to 1 the condition will become false so print k plus 1 that is 8 plus 1 is 9 so b is the correct option thank you